when you hear the word inspiration, the first thing that probably comes to mind is paint a picture, or write a song, or make a film, or write a novel. You're thinking of what it can do. You're thinking of its effect on your creativity. You're thinking of its effect on what you do. Now, inspiration is generally defined as something that makes someone want to do something. Now, by that definition, inspiration could be the rumblings in your stomach before biting into a cheeseburger, or the need to get out of bed because you have to go to work. But is it just cause and effect? Is inspiration just something that makes someone want to do something? I think it's more than that. I think inspiration is more than just an effect on what you do, but rather an effect on who you are. So, I first came to Pachakasha about a year ago. Like most people, I had heard good things, and like almost everyone, I had a pretty difficult time pronouncing it. <laughs> but moreover, I was intrigued. I was intrigued by the rules set for the presenters. 20 slides for every, or excuse me, 20 seconds for every 20 slides. And the slides are timed and not within your control. Scary. I immediately thought, I could do that. <laughs> but what stood out to me by the end of the night is so many others thought the exact same thing. And as I continued to come to Pachakasha events, it kept happening. The presentations would be great, the night would end, and members of the audience would rush the presenter and pitch him an idea to speak at the next Pachakasha. Now, being one of those people, <laughs> I can confirm that something happened and it made someone or quite a few people want to do something, and that was inspiration. But what if the night wasn't great? What if the presentations did not go off without a hitch? What if the host was a jerk? <laughs> Would you still be inspired to take the stage? You see, our brains are so intricate and complex and there is nothing that we see or know or feel or do that isn't connected to our brains and thus connected to us. And everything that happens is a part of us. And I believe inspiration is this X factor. It is something that you haven't really figured it out yet, but it's something that brings out who you already are. It singles out something very special about you. So, I'm a huge fan of a man named Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> I have been since I was 15 years old. I think he's great. Um, uh, Bruce Springsteen has a quote that I love. He says, more than rich, more than famous, more than happy, I want it to be great. You see, when he was young, he would watch classic genius people like Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, Chuck Berry, and the Beatles. And he would inspire and want to be just like them. He'd want to achieve their same greatness. Now, the more I think about it, as much as I love his music, I'm more of a fan of who he is. Regardless of the artistry, the writing, the performance, I think that I'm more of a fan of Bruce Springsteen because of what he stands for. So, who am I? What do I stand for? Well, I work for a nonprofit organization called Ideas for Us. Ideas works tirelessly every day to educate, engage, and empower people of all ages, providing campuses and communities with the tools and knowledge to solve the environmental crisis. Now, another thing that I work on is I help to organize an event called Nerd Night. Now, <laughs> Nerd, <laughs> at Nerd Night, we get to collect the most interesting and intelligent people in town and allow them to present their knowledge and experience to the audience over a few drinks. Sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I work on a lot of different things. But I'm mentioning these two because in these places, I get to be who I am and do something that I'm most passionate about and do it well. Now, but without inspiration, that wouldn't be possible. Putting in those extra hours, going those extra miles for something that's not your full-time job 
would be near impossible. So where do you find inspiration? Ernest Hemingway found it in a bottle and on the battlefield. John Lennon found it in his wife. Springsteen found it in his home of New Jersey. I find it on the view from the roof, on a trip to Wakaiva Island, in a picture of a child in Africa wearing an idea shirt, and a couple that runs up to me, wasted, saying, I just learned so much the last nerd night. Thank you. <laughs> I find it here at Pachaka Shop with all of you, sitting where you were sitting. You see, it's not just something that makes you want to do something. It's everything and everyone and everywhere you've ever been leading up to this moment that has the opportunity to inspire you. And to answer that question from earlier, would you still take the stage if the night wasn't so great and the host was a jerk and all that? The answer is yes. I know I would. Inspiration is about bringing out your best qualities. It's about taking something that's inside of you, overcoming a challenge, and doing something great. You may not know exactly what it is, but inspiration is out there and it's wanting to tell you one thing. Everyone who is seated can be someone who stands up. The definition of who you are, that's the effect of inspiration. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.